There's a log that's in my way, in the woods where I do play. It's old and falling apart. Think today, throw it away. Log rhythms. But on the log, there sat a frog, singing loud for his froggy crowd. Big mistake, didn't see the snake. Now the log, it has no frog. Log rhythms. Busy ants carry bits of plants, shoot inside the log to hide. I sat down, but began to frown when those ants got in my pants. Log rhythms. A small newt, I watch it scoot under the bark where it was dark. A good choice, his skin stays moist. A good home, no need to roam. Log rhythms. In the ground, the log breaks down, giving plants a brand new chance. Mushrooms aid the log's decay. Tiny seeds can grow to trees. Log rhythms. So this log, I'll leave alone. I now know for some it's home. Others eat the bark and wood. The log stays just as it should. Log rhythms. Log rhythms. If you go to the woods someday, take the time to think of yesterday. Majestic oaks and the maples mighty, they weren't the first trees. The first trees had to be mighty tough, conditions then were pretty rough. Pioneer trees are quite scrappy, and this is the song of such a tree. best looking tree but I'm trying to grow slowly I toil to improve the soil now the maples are telling me to go well I'm a cottonwood and if I could I'd stay but the shade is coming succession must have its way Cottonwoods come, cottonwoods go, but after a fire it's the first tree to go. Rejuvenates the soil along with the fern, first tree after a burn. I may not be the best looking tree, but I'm trying to Slowly I toil to improve the soil. Now the maples are telling me to go. Well, I'm a cottonwood, and if I could, I'd stay. But the shade is coming. Succession must have its way. Cottonwood tree is a short-lived tree. Old age is reached by the age of 40. In that time, its job has been done. A new stage of trees has begun. So I may not be the best looking tree, but I'm trying to grow. Slowly I toil. Succession must have its way. Well, I'm a cottonwood, and if I could, I'd stay. Bacteria live in the soil, 
to help plants grow. They even help to process cheese that I know. I'll even accept bacteria present in a sneeze. But don't tell me they live in my gut. Don't tell me, please. Because I woke up this morning feeling rather blue. Wondering what my bacteria are plotting to do. That's why I'm singing the bacteria blues. I understand bacteria are agents of decay. They help to break down dead things. That is nature's way. You're telling me bacteria even process sludge. So I don't want bacteria in me. Nope, I won't budge. Cause I woke up this morning feeling rather blue. Wondering what my bacteria are plotting to do. That's why I'm singing the bacteria blues. I understand bacteria are very important. They help make yogurt and our booze to ferment. But some bacteria carry disease, they're not all healthy. And I don't want any bacteria fermenting in me. Cause I woke up this morning feeling rather blue. Wondering what my bacteria are plotting to do. That's why I'm singing the bacteria blues. Hey, bacteria, I don't want you. Learning about chromosomes and how they carry genes. How to detect genotypes by the phenotype seen. Dominance and recessiveness determine which traits will appear. But when we cut up the fruit fly, it makes me shed a tear. Genetics may be needed, explains how I got blue eyes. But we don't need to bottle up all those fruit flies. They live their life in a jar, waiting for their time to die. Hey, you researchers, that's no way to treat a fruit fly. You cut out salivary glands to draw a chromosome map. When you put out the banana, the fly isn't warmed of the trap. You count their offspring to verify Punnett squares. Making the flies live in a jar simply isn't fair. Genetics may be needed, explains how I got blue eyes. But we don't need to bottle up all the fruit flies. They live their life in a jar, waiting for the time to die. Hey, you researchers, that's no way to treat the fruit fly. Parent fruit flies are often surprised to see their offspring as mutations. But they can't voice their concerns when you expose them to radiations. Even though they are small, their cries can still be heard. The way you treat the fruit fly is simply absurd. Genetics may be needed. It explains how I got blue eyes, but we don't need to bottle up 
all those fruit flies. They live their life in a jar, waiting for the time to die. Hey, you researchers, that's no way to treat the fruit fly. One day the radiation may not do what you want it to. A stronger fly may develop and it'll come for you. If you think they are a bother as they buzz around the fruit, just wait till they rise in rebellion and give you the boot. Genetics may be needed, explains how I got blue eyes. But we don't need to bottle up all the fruit flies. They live their life in a jar, waiting for the time to die. Hey, you researchers, that's no way to treat the fruit fly. So unscrew the caps right now and fly, you fruit flies, fly. not a pretty sight everything gets eaten there is no wrong or right carnivores eat herbivores herbivores eat plants anything left over is scavenged by the ants I've been working on the food chain every night and day seeing what gets eaten, whether predator or prey. Parasites live off of hosts, decomposers rot. Scavengers eat roadkills, smelly food or not. I've been working on the food chain as plants photosynthesize. See mankind interfere in ways that don't seem wise. When we break a food chain, Man picks up the slack When we mess with Mother Nature We also break our backs I've been working on the food chain It's not a pretty sight Everything gets eaten There is no wrong or right Carnivores eat herbivores Herbivores eat plants Anything left over Is scavenged by the ants Marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. Yes, when marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. When I drink that glass of water, I wonder where it's been. In a fluffy cloud until precipitation Was it rain or was it snow and where did it go? Falling on the thirsty land or as a river flows The water cycle really is no mystery It flows around from air to ground back to the sea it's harder to understand our frequent abuse Since we all depend upon our water's reuse When I drink that glass of water, I wonder where it's been In a maple tree until precipitation In the roots then to the leaves as the saps rise Till it evaporates into the skies Well, the water cycle really is no mystery It flows around from air to ground Back to the sea It's harder to understand our frequent abuse Since we all depend upon our water's reuse When I drink that glass of water, I wonder where it's been. Dinosaur, wild boar, maybe gentle Ben. Was it blood, plasma spit, oh please don't let it be. 
I don't want to be drinking someone else's pee. Well, the water cycle really is no mystery. It flows around from air to ground, back to the sea. It's harder to understand our frequent abuse since we all depend upon our water's reuse. What will you do for your water when your well runs dry? What will you do for your water? It'll be too late to cry. Do you leave the faucet open when brushing those pearly whites? Do you choose to take long showers each and every night? What will you do for your water when your well runs dry? What will you do for your water? It'll be too late to cry. Do you sweep your driveway or simply turn on the hose? Wasting gallons of water as into the street it flows. What will you do for your water when your well runs dry? What will you do for your water? It'll be too late to cry do you water your plants in the morning or wait till the sun's high in the sky you lose your water cause the air is dry what will you do for your water when your well runs dry what will you do for your water, it'll be too late to cry. So we live by great lakes of water, we'll never run out, we think. But with all our carelessness, it won't be safe to drink. What will you do for your water? When your well runs dry What will you do for your water? It'll be too late to cry Take a little carbon dioxide present in the air add a bit of water that's found everywhere if the plant has chlorophyll then add a dash of light and you'll know the recipe for photosynthesis will turn out right green plants get their energy from the sun and form the base of food chains for everyone Plants make glucose the fuel that we need. When we eat the sugar, energy is freed. As if this isn't enough for the green plant to do, they release oxygen to the atmosphere too. Green plants get their energy from the sun and form the base of food chains for everyone. Plants can bring beauty to the world that we see. We get many products from the tree. And even if you're a carnivore and eat a plant, you can't just remember all meat's energy began with a plant. Green plants get their energy from the sun and form the base of food chains for everyone. 
take a little carbon dioxide present in the air add a bit of water that's found everywhere if the plant has chlorophyll then add a dash of light and you'll know the recipe for photosynthesis will turn out right green plants get their energy from the sun and form the base of food chains for everyone Don't you laugh and don't you cry, let's give respiration a try. Such an amazing process, mirroring photosynthesis. People think it's merely breathing, it's more about energy releasing respiration. Food goes in and waste come out, it's the in-between we're concerned about. The sugar glucose gets broken down, enzymes are needed and energy found. ADP to ATP starts with two phosphates, then becomes three. In this way we store energy, used in all body activities, respiration. With O2, more energy is released. Some don't use O2 like the yeast. What's the difference, you may ask? With O2, more energy for tasks. Like when your muscles cramp again. It's a signal you're out of oxygen. Respiration. CO2 is the gas that's produced, and photosynthesis, this gets used. Water is also made to go, you might say it is in the flow. Thus food's transformed into energy. Can you describe this process of chemistry? Respiration. So don't you laugh and don't you cry, let's give respiration a try. Such an amazing process, mirroring photosynthesis. People think it's merely breathing, it's more about energy releasing respiration. So many things I need to say So much to do before you go away And leave me Try to reach each of your hearts Show you how each of us plays a part In the ecology For you are unique, there'll never be another you. You mark your place on this earth in everything you do. Impact we made may be large or small, what matters is that we tried at all to make a difference. Continue to ask questions, try to understand. Stay eager to learn for the world's in your hands. Make a difference. 
for you are unique there'll never be another you you mark your place on this earth in everything you do so many things i need to say so much to do before you go away and leave me Birds gotta do it, butterflies too. Why should we wait, baby? I want to migrate with you. Look at our choices. If we stay around, we can hole up in a tree or dig a hole in the ground. Birds gotta do it, butterflies too. Why should we wait, baby? I want to migrate with you. Days are getting shorter. Winter soon will be here. Now I don't like giving orders, but it's time to clear out of here. Birds gotta do it, butterflies too. Why should we wait, baby? I want to migrate with you. Predator eats the prey, the predator eats the prey. Hi ho, it's nature's way, the predator eats the prey. The hawk eats the mouse, the hawk eats the mouse. Hi ho, it's nature's way, the hawk eats the mouse. The predator eats the prey, the predator eats the prey. Hi-ho, it's nature's way, the predator eats the prey. The cat eats the rat, the cat eats the rat. Hi-ho, it's nature's way, the cat eats the rat. The predator eats the prey, the predator eats the prey. Hi-ho, it's nature's way, the predator eats the prey. The bird eats the worm, the bird eats the worm. Hi-ho, it's nature's way, the bird eats the worm. The predator eats the prey, the predator eats the prey. Hi-ho, it's nature's way, the predator eats the prey. The mantis eats the moth, the mantis eats the moth. Hi-ho, it's nature's way, the mantis eats the moth. The predator eats the prey, the predator eats the prey. Hi-ho, it's nature's way, the predator eats the prey. I'm just a scavenger Eating the dead things I find If it wasn't for me then there surely would be A lot of dead things left behind So open your eyes and see 
the world be on you and me. It's really a shame that we're so quick to blame before we learn ecology. I'm just a predator. I catch animals as my prey. You may think it's mean when I do my own thing, but I'm going to eat anyway. Open your eyes and see the world beyond you and me. It's really a shame that we're so quick to blame before we learn ecology. I'm just a lowly weed. I produce lots of seeds. You hate me to grow, but don't you know I have many mouths to feed. So open your eyes and see the world beyond you and me. It's really a shame that we're so quick to blame before we learn ecology. Had me at that worm willy, he was really rather neat. He could really move along, even with no feet. He'd use his little bristles to burrow down deep and come out to play at night when the predators were asleep. He told me why his skin was moist to pick up oxygen and all about the squishy things he had inside of him. He was proud of his five arches that pumped just like hearts. But when it came to brains, my poor Willie wasn't smart. Willie, oh Willie, why'd you try to cross that street? Didn't you know you'd get stomped by somebody's feet? You didn't belong on cement, your home was in the dirt. Willie, oh Willie, why'd you have to go get hurt? I did the best thing a person can do for a hurt pet. I scooped him up on my shovel and I rushed him to the vets. They examined him for hours from his head to his tail. The final verdict was poor Will would never be well. Willie, oh Willie, why'd you try to cross that street? Didn't you know you'd get stomped by somebody's feet? You didn't belong on cement, your home was in the dirt. Willie, oh Willie, why'd you have to go get hurt? His mouth was all broken, it could not take in food. His gizzards were disrupted, it would do him no good. When they examined his ventral nerve cord and found it broken too, they said they were sorry, but poor Willie was through. Willie, oh Willie, why'd you try to cross that street? Didn't you know you'd get stomped by somebody's feet? You didn't belong on cement, your home was in the dirt. Willie, oh Willie, why'd you have to go get hurt? I took my pal Willie and I laid him on the ground beside his castings that formed a natural mound. The final words I said to Willie, my best friend, Never could tell your head from your own rear end. Willie, oh Willie, why'd you try to cross that street? Didn't you know you'd get stomped by somebody's feet? You didn't belong on cement, your home was in the dirt. Willie, oh Willie, why'd you have to go get hurt? Willie, oh Willie, why'd you go and leave the dirt? comes crawling along, butterfly she floats away. Mother Nature sings her song, metamorphosis today. 
mama monarch, she laid tiny eggs. Hatch caterpillars with many legs. Yellow and black with lots of feet. Good strong jaw so they can eat. Caterpillar comes crawling along. Butterfly, she floats away. Mother nature sings her song. Metamorphosis today. They eat milkweed till they get so wide Inside a chrysalis they will hide As they shed their caterpillar skin The monarch butterfly will begin Caterpillar comes crawling along Butterfly she floats away Mother nature sings her song Metamorphosis today After two weeks, the chrysalis will split. A beautiful butterfly will exit. She'll lay eggs as she goes down south to avoid the snow. Caterpillar comes crawling along. Butterfly, she floats away. Mother Nature sings her song. Metamorphosis today.
I went to the woods, to the woods, to the woods, to see what I could, what I could, what I could. I sat me down upon a log, and don't you know, the creatures there they put on quite the show. The first thing I noticed was a fly, buzzing around, buzzing around, buzzing around my head. The fly was becoming quite a pest, till a frog came along and the fly was dead. The frog, he came, hopping by, hopping by, spotted the fly, and then he was still. His tongue lashed out and swallowed a fly like he was eating a candy pill. <sniffs> he swallowed it whole. He didn't chew. If you ask me, that was a gross thing to do. But the frog was happy. He had a full belly, belly full, belly full, belly full of fly. He might not have been so content if he knew he was the next to die. A long blue snake came slithering up, slithering up, slithering up to my log. It looked left and right. It coiled itself tight, and then it sprang upon the frog. And as the snake was munching the frog, I heard a scream up in the sky. And as I saw the soaring hawk, I knew the snake was the next to die. The hawk had soared with talons drawn, soaring down, soaring down, soaring down towards my log. And just before it crashed to the ground, it grabbed the snake that ate the frog. It happened so fast, I rubbed my eyes as the hawk disappeared in the sky. I'd seen enough. So I jumped from my log and ran myself home, ran myself home to tell Mom and Dad what I'd seen. I couldn't understand why in the woods everything was so mean. I said, Mom and Dad, I went to the woods, to the woods, to the woods, to see what I could, what I could, what I could. I sat me down upon a log, and don't you know, the creatures there, they put on quite the show. A hawk ate a snake, a snake ate a frog, a frog ate a fly. Now tell me why, if you could, why in the woods does everything have to die? child my parents said to me what you saw was not cruelty some animals die so others may grow you saw a food chain now don't you know oh i listened to what they had to say i now understand predator prey so i go to the woods and sit on my log sit on my log sit on my log and watch the sky and when i see that soaring hawk i'm glad i'm not a snake a frog or a fly.